All righty, I'm back. We are we're gonna get into episode two, Starved for Help. I'm super excited. I've never actually played past this point. I did the first episode. I now just now finished it, but also I have the first episode on YouTube. The choices I think I made for my YouTube run are not the same ones that I made for this one. Like. The, for the bigger picture, they're pretty much the same, but as for a lot of the other, like, little stuff and everything, it's, I, I think I made, like, different choices in what I said and, and all that, so we'll, we'll see how it, like, affects my gameplay in the long run, but I'm super, super duper excited, and I think, like, this episode two and all the rest of them, I'm going to, uh, probably just cut down into smaller videos and post them on YouTube. That way I can have uh, the rest of this on my YouTube channel. <laughs> but let's get into it. I'm excited. Previously on The Walking Dead. I know who you are. Oh, I got another good one for you. I love how that cop was just so casual talking to me. This convicted murderer. <laughs> yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. You got it, boss. Boss. <laughs> Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. We reason with him. To the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Bad dog. Oh my god. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. You watch your ass. I just love what you said, Lessa. Game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. I love that. A lot. <laughs> I love games like this that do that. That's why the Telltale series is one of my favorite series ever. A whole three months. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. Big <sighs> sad. Well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> yeah, we'll I find food. I promise. I through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. <laughs> Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. We're all hungry. No kidding. But you think that, that like grabbed for Carly's rations the other night? Uh... I thought she was gonna take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. You think that the animals would be bad? Yeah, you know? You're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. Hey, how are you, Ray? You'll have to ask Lily. She's the one handling the rations. How are you, my guy? It's been a bit. I hope you're doing good. He's just worried about his kid getting enough. I worry about Clementine. You're doing better good. I'm glad. I think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here. I sure hope so. <laughs> yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting. Well, it's good to see you. Welcome, welcome back. back. I hope everything has been, you know, you know Kenny's been like not terrible. Off if he can get that RV running. He's got a wife and son to look out for. Hey, yeah. He's safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? Nope. What's the old guy's deal anyway? He's just like he's got a angry. Yeah, he hates me. Let's not talk about that. Larry's just looking out for his daughter. Hey, uh -huh. I know her. She can take care of herself. He needs to take that energy and put it towards finding us some more food. And Agreed. I know he's weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. 
I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Oh, yeah. Knock me flat. Yeah, he did. Don't. Gunshot will bring walkers. Them birds not worth it. Yeah, I know. I'm just really freaking hungry. I'd be too. Shit, was that Kenny? I don't know. Come on. I'm going to assume that's a military jacket. Jesus Christ. Oh, oh God. Shit. No, no, please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get, get it off. Get it off. God damn it. Get, get it off me. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp and we what? barely got away from that. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? It's okay. We're not gonna hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat to you. Kids, chill out. You're just children. Calm you. down. Shut Sit down. Please, fucked up. You gotta help. Please. All right. Ben, shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Oh, see if you shut can up, get child. Out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Okay, okay, okay. I gotta get him out of there. Oh God, thank you. Bear trap. Fine. Bear trap. You gotta hurry. I don't know how bear traps hurry, work, please, so... Hurry. How do bear traps work? Did you gotta, like, pull a pen? Oh, no. Oh, no. Shit. Walkers. It's now or never leave. Please, get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Kenny, keep those walkers off of me. Oh, God. Fuck, do you get these things open? We don't know. <laughs> uh, oh, why is his eyes wired? Hurry, please. Get me out of this. No, no, no. Stop. Fuck. Oh, boy. Let's go. Let's Come on. There has to be a way out of this. No, no, no. Stop. Ugh. He, I don't. Is he going to make it? Now. Come on, come on! I do have an axe. Come on, try something. Come on, do something. We don't have time. There's gotta uh, be any other way. There's so much blood already. Please hurry up. All right, all right, all right, all right. I. Oh Jesus, those things are soon. I'm sorry. Leave. I can't keep it back forever. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Try the trap again. Oh, no. I'm Just sorry. Now. We gotta go. Trap the leg. Ah. 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 It's okay. Good. Pa you pass out. It's fine. Ah. I don't like this at all. I hate this. I hate this so much. Ah. I can't watch. Uh -uh. I, but I can't look away. Oh, nasty. One more. Ugh. Yucky, 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 yucky. Let's go. I had to. I had to. Let's go. He's alive. Grab him and let's go. Let's go. There's so many. You meant shot the tree down? I don't think that was an option. Behind you. Travis. Come on, come on. We gotta move. Oh god. Oh no! <laughs> Oops.
Damn. Clem, don't kick it against the barrel. That makes noise. It's us, girl. Calm down. Don't shoot! Clementine! Travis definitely got munched. She got munched hard. Get the gates open. We've he got was wounded. zombie crunch a munch. What the hell are they doing? Come on, come on. Uh -uh. What happened? Oh, what the hell? What's going on? I have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Larry, shut can up. Can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee. I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. You would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group, right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. Uh -huh. The only you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Oh my god, Lily. Shut the oh. fuck up. Fine, you guys fight it out. Welcome to the family, kid. <laughs> come over here and see what I drew. But what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our <laughs> own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own uh, personal dictatorship. Yeah. Oh, come Sit your on. ass down, dramatic. Queen Elizabeth. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not going to be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Those people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens no, next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person <sighs> can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Oh, Dad, shut the please. fuck up, Larry. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? Yeah. Sit your ass down. You think this is easy for me? Everyone Smack the shit out of you. I'm the one that rations the food, but nobody else wants to. I'll do it. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. Today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. Fine. I still got energy bars. <laughs> Does it count the two that I still had on me? Wow. Well, the kids have to eat. I have to feed the kids. Sorry. I don't have my energy bars. They're gone. Be okay. I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this selling up people's injuries but i mean cuts and bruises are one thing but Lee, this man has no leg i had to i did the right thing yeah i know you did does that or leave him sometimes i guess well you've done all you can lee thanks for the help 
Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Alrighty. Have fun, Katja. Alright. Well... How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure thing, Clem. Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Yeah! Thank you. Okay, I'll get you your hat, girl. Don't you I'm worry. I will check things. high and low. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Ugh. Duck. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Give crackers and cheese. Okay. A Sunday would be better next time. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. If you have any more food, Duck is hungry too. Yeah, why don't we then get some food? You know, kid, I am deciding whether or not that I want to even feed you. <laughs> He's so annoying now. <sighs> but I gotta feed the kids. <laughs> Look at that face. Give him nothing. Here, have Here. some cheese and crackers. Yeah. Oh man, I'm so hungry. I bet you are. Hmm. Hmm. Who next? I feel like I should give food to Carly because she's our resident dead eye. She's our good shot. <sighs> hey, Kenny. What up? Words getting True. Duck is just. He's got to be so fucking optimistic. Me. Probably our best bet. I'm not sure that's the best idea. You gave Glenn your blessing when he left. Just asking you respect my choice as well. Yeah. yeah. But he was leaving to find his friends. Your family's right here. Well, here isn't doing us any good. You should think about coming with us, you and Clem. The coast does sound like a smart idea. Uh -huh. the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. All right. We can go to the coast. I'll go with you. I'll help you out. Uh, hey, Carly, what up, girl? Sleeping any better? <laughs> no. I, I like. Be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. I don't know what to do. Drugstore. Yeah. Back in a bit. All right, kids have food. That is the important part. I don't really want to feed the new kid. You know, I just, uh, and I don't really want to feed Lily because she is a bitch. Hey, is I don't want to feed it? Larry either. I don't know, but Kaja will because I best. hate him. I promise. You can start for all I care. Off his leg. I'm sorry, I had way. to. So who are you people? He's Ben. Our group's gonna want to know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you saved is Mr. Parker. Two first names. I like it. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when, when everything happened. Uh. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, um, uh, I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Probably, but, Sometimes, you know, it's fine. When uh, you're in the moment, something. you never know what you're gonna do. You'll be prepared next time. Heck yeah. Next time? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Poor kid. Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. Alright. What to do about the food? Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, oh shut I got the fuck 60 up. cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Ugh. Hey, you hey up okay? Mark. I was pretty fucked up back there, having to cut that guy's leg off. Yeah, I just hope Kaja can save him. You ever miss the Air Force mm -hmm. base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. I thought that he was in the military on base on his jacket. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Damn. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen. I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. 
Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. Shut up, Larry. Fucking asshole. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. I'll give it to Mark. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. Oh, shut up. You didn't think to give me the axe? Come on, no. Mary. Cut Lee some slack. He knows you're just out to protect Lily. He told me so. Just like he's trying to protect Clementine. He... Oh, I just need some food. Going this long without a proper meal make anybody cranky. And you can wait. Because I don't like you. Like how I'm going to give you food. At least the kids have Asshole. something to keep them occupied. But you know you're right. He he is definitely well. <laughs> Duck is definitely well written. <laughs> I don't like him, but he is definitely well written. <laughs> He's just so annoying. We should talk about you and Oh, Kim. Duck. The arguing. It's getting pretty out of hand. You know people notice that. Look, I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here, and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. All we need is food. But there is no food. You know that better than anyone. Well, we'll just have to find some. Uh... Maybe we should think about leaving the motel. God, not you too. I know Kenny wants to leave. I think that's why he's so eager to get the RV working. But this is a good spot. We're protected, we're close to the drugstore, we have a routine now, and it's working. For now. Keep an eye out. Don't know. <sighs> I'm trying to think of who to give the other two food to. <laughs> I want to give one to Carly cuz she's useful. And I want to give one to to Mark cuz he's even over yourself. I you know, I don't know if like keeping it yourself is an option or not. Uh like I can't select myself. So I would assume not. Like I assume I have to give it to to other people. But like I don't want to give the new kid food, okay? He just got here. And I would feel like they'd be very frowned upon. Like, I'm pretty sure Lily would be happy if I gave her food. And I know she'd most likely be happy if I gave her dad food. But it's like, I want to give some to Mark because he's the reason we even have the food in the first place. You know? But then I also look at it as like, well, Carly's a really good shot. But also, it seems like we ha everyone has guns now. Like, uh, Lily, Lily has... You know, that rifle, and and Kenny had a rifle earlier. So, and then also Mark had a rifle, too. So, you know, we all seem to have guns, and everyone seems to kind of know how to use it. So then it's like, Carly isn't as useful as she used to be. So do I want to give her food? And, and Katja, I could give her food. Like, she's kind of our, our resident doctor. She's a, she's a vet, but... You know, she knows how to do the stitching and stuff, so I feel like I should give her food. Because she'll need her strength if something was to happen, like, right now. With her, you know, working on him and stuff. Like, if you're really shaky, then how are you going to do a good job? Here, eat something. <sighs> Why don't you give it to Doc? I'm a little busy with your mess right now. I need space, Lee. Okay! Gotcha. Fine then. I was gonna give you some food, and I already gave Duck some food. Fine. I won't get. I'll give it to Carly. Want some Here you eat? go. You could have the jerky. Yeah. Me? How about you? You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? Eh. I'm okay. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but... You don't owe me anything, Carly. Okay, so Carly won't eat. Um...
I don't know now. <laughs> Maybe I should give one to Lily. I uh, I don't know. Here, eat something. Eat the jerky. Thanks, Lee. Uh, oh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. Yeah. I'm not feeding Larry. He can die. I don't care. <laughs> At all. Alright, Lily. You're a bitch. But you know what? I'll give you something to eat. Here. I don't want anything from you. You don't eat, then go fuck yourself. Kenny! Kenny, you get to have the last food because nobody else wants it, and if you don't want it, I'm giving it to Ben. Want something to eat? Here, Kenny, take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yep. Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. <laughs> I'm starved. Thanks. Good. I'm starving right now, too. I haven't eaten today. I've had coffee, though. Lots of coffee. Not such an easy job, is it? Never said it was. Uh-huh. Even harder when nobody wants envy. to take food. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Katja said hey, no. Thanks for looking out for Carly me said no. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. Lily More didn't want it. On the RV with me. Still... I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. I don't care. You're out! What happened to my food? There's none left. You keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. Uh. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. Ooh, I want to deck him. Yeah, I get the Dad, option to please. punch him because I'd Come love to. Me. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. Oh, damn. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Katja. What? He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. Give him a minute. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. Uh-huh. What about the other kid? <laughs> oh! Oh, damn. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah. Of course it is. Get back. Get off me. Asshole. Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed. Don't die of a heart attack. Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word. But he wasn't bitten, I swear. Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife. What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. Aww. We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know. I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. 
She took some pills. A lot of them. Aww. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we... We just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. We don't want any trouble. Of course, uh, neither do we. Uh, I'm Andy St. John. This uh, here's my brother Danny. Uh, We're just out looking for gasoline. Looks like you folks got the motel locked down, which, which is fine, but uh, if you could spare any gas, well, we'd be much obliged. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, uh, we own a dairy farm a few miles. Why isn't road. you know um, sun paneled and gun. stuff? We, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all uh, doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out, see if it's legit? I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? Uh... You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. A couple gallons. <laughs> oh. Sun panels, man. So, this dairy. Solar you guys really have panels food? or whatever. Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Uh. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. Really? You think they'd want me for it later? Sure. <laughs> Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Yep. Does anyone else know? Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine nope. knows. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the senator? It was an accident. Ooh. You know, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. So it seems like he didn't mean to kill this senator. I've been some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. Really? I uh, really appreciate that. I don't know. I feel like I mean, thank God murdering someone makes you a bad person. But at right, the same Lee? time, I guess yeah, it also why just. Why don't you tell us a little more about depends. yourself, Lee? Where are you from? Macon. I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart <laughs> of the That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor. Macon, George. Who's running things over there? Um. Lily runs a pretty tight ship. Her and her dad are ex-military. Yeah, she knows her shit, but she needs to know when to back off sometimes. Uh, How many yeah. people you got over there anyway? Nine, including the kids. You forgot I'm... Ben's. Oh, mm -hmm. well. Now ten. ten. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. There's... In the summers, I used so to help out on the goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's mm. been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... You getting... think you're going to cut me out of this? Shoot me down. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always oh, pulling this shit. Bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Are oh, are they? Shh. Fuck you! You knew we were hungry, and you guys will keep it all to yourself. Oh no, there's Yeah, and you know what? We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out. I hope they move on. Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you! Fuck you! Jesus! Damn! Get to the dairy where it's safe. My God, <laughs> take his crossbow though. 
I mean, come on. It's right there. Just do it. Here it is. Uh, uh. St. John Family Day. <laughs> Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out. Daily farm for They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going and... to assume that's a lot. Ever have any accidents? Nah, it's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Yeah. It's all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. She's so southern. Our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome Hi. to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farm hands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. <laughs> oh, good. They grow them good. Vulnerable. Have you got someone with wow. survival experience to lead your group? Uh, yeah. Lily, is tough as nails and keeps us focused on what it takes to survive. Lily was in the military, like me. Well, that's uh, good that They're so sus! Why are they trying so hard to, like, get us here? Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get what stuff are they? like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's Not like right. biscuits? Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What she... We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh, my. Our prayers have been answered. <laughs> Maybe oh, my. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. Wow. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Uh... Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. With the bandits. myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Bye. Don't die, please. I kind of need Lee, you. Why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Okay. Fun? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. And we can learn a little something about our fence. I'm going to go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This mm. place is incredible. It's got Don't get food. too excited, that buddy. Fence? Oh, man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? You're being... <laughs> Before we can think about yeah. bringing our whole group here to mm -hmm. stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but... Maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. Yep. All right, I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Hey. I will do my best. <sighs> I. It bugs me how quick he was to be like, "Yeah, let's hop out. We got a bet." Like, like, dude, chill. Chill. We need to play it safe. Like I know I did kind of answer all his questions, but I feel like just right now, if I just lying to him, especially with me being with everyone else, they'd just be all like, "But Lee, you know." If I was by myself, it'd probably be easier to lie. <laughs> but with people around me, I feel so like you found out. Not it's yet. Like a good place to stay. I'll keep looking around. All right. Keep me posted. All right. <laughs> Definitely tell they built this thing themselves. Uh-huh. Hmm. Pointy. 
going to. Uh, how much food they've got in there. Hopefully we'll find out. Boards. I'll bet they go through a lot of wood keeping those fences repaired. If a couple of tools out in the open is as unsafe as it gets, we'll be fine here. Would have been Hopefully. nice to have one of these back at the motor inn. <laughs> Looks like the fence runs around the entire property, not just the house. That's good. That yep. means it's Can't more secure. It comes to safety. safety is important. All right, Andy. Hi. 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 Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? We've scraped together a good supply in the last few months. How about yourselves? What kind of protection do you have around? Besides the fence? We collected a few guns to protect ourselves, but... We really only use them when we go off the property. When we're inside the perimeter, the fence is all we need to keep us safe. What about the bandits? We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. Hmm. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman. He figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. <laughs> Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are I enough swear. to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Like us. What about the day that you run out of gas? Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but gets overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. Never know. I just don't trust him. Like, at all. He's just so... Sus. <laughs> That's the only word I can think of right now. He's just so suspicious. Him and his whole family are just acting so suspicious. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy. Let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. He wouldn't be such a pain in the ass if you weren't telling him we were talking behind his back all the time. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, all right? It's okay. We'll work it out somehow. Well, it's okay. hopefully he'll calm down. We'll figure it out. There's one. Yeah. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Well, here, let's take the arrow. Disgusting. Um. Andy said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Should, I think. Bye. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, it's useless without gas. Mm -hmm. might need food, but the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers these Ambivalence. days. Ambivalence. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas. Easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. They're so suspicious. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. Thank you. I actually, I appreciate that. There's we'll need that. One. I see it. Mm. Oh, come on. 
Come on, let go. You never get used to the smell, do you? Nope. <laughs> nope. And then you gotta imagine, like, the way that it smells. Like, they... they Christ. See, I think they smell like dinner. rotten, like, corpses. Thanks for the ration, And then you add them to the... the fr being fried on the fence, it's like, bleh. Right <laughs> I'm hungry too, Mark. Ugh. Do you think they're gonna be good for it? Dinner for a whole group of people? Hopefully. If got as much food as they say, I, I think so. Mm, there's on. one. I think I see where they're getting in. <laughs> mm, barbecue. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> uh. Careful. Ah, uh, barbecue. <laughs> Holy <gasps> what just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Ah! Oh, God. Ah! What the? Get to the gate. Oh. We had an agreement. Now you're fucked. Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Now what? I knew it was cool. Good to be true. All right. Get closer. You fuck with us. Now we'll take what we want. Come on. Ugh. Behind the tractor. Did you really think you can fuck with us? Lee, get back here. Fuck you, strong bitch. I swear. The dead we pushed down earlier. I'm gonna have to move it. That looks nothing like him. Nothing like the dead. I got one of you. Where's our food, you asshole? Uh, boy. Uh, Give us the food. Where do you think you're going? Damn. Oh, come on. Another one? How many of those things did we push down? Only two. Okay, good. <laughs> I guess I just wasn't moving fast enough. You lucky sons of bitches. Go ahead. Wow. We ain't going nowhere. Well, 
sounds like they promised them food and then didn't give them food. Are you okay? I heard Mark she yelling. Says. I thought y'all were giving me the all clear. Man, I am real sorry. Oh my lord! What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, Mama? Yeah, I'll be all right once it's out. But God damn, it hurts. Wow. Hey y'all. Mark. Rip it oh out. Oh my God! What happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ! Are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just. Pull it out. Oh no, yep. honey. Come Pop on. Pop it right out. Got you. Come on inside <laughs> now. We'll have you all sorted out. What oh no. What kind of shit is this? We Why ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farm hands. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You knew about these people? Yeah. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. God damn it. Well, clearly you didn't keep up your end of the deal. Tight. Maybe it isn't as safe here as we thought. Look, we're sorry. We, we never had them screw with us like this. Not since we started giving them food. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but, but we will not stand They said you, you didn't give them food. Us. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Uh, Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. He's not I wrong. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. And what we need to do is find a way a to get a bows and arrows is here to so stay. much more safer Take than guns. Place over if we have to. Oh, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything. I know how to use a bow, so before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, sure you that's do. Real charming, Dad. <laughs> Where's Ben and Carly? You don't. Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Hey, uh, I remember seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. I hope your kids like swings. A swing! Uh. I love swings, just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? <laughs> Doc's face yeah. always is just priceless. Anytime. I love we're it. We're out for you. Uh. I don't trust him. This game auto-saves, right? Right? <laughs> hope so <laughs> uh, I technically have about 10 minutes left but I don't like want to get into a like quick time event or something you know and then like be stuck in a bunch of um, like audio and talking and everything so I'm gonna go ahead and go but thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today I do highly appreciate it it means the world to me you guys are wonderful you're amazing you are the best family I could ever ask for I love you guys very much and I will be here uh, tomorrow. We're going to be playing some Sims 3. I'm back to normal hours again, so I'm super excited for that. But um, generally, I just like babble and stuff, but uh, I'm not going to. So, guys, thanks again for hanging out. And uh, with that, stay cute, stay lovely, and I'm going to see you all tomorrow. Have a good day. Bye.